this is the tree of life. All we need do is offer up our prayers, and the sacred dew will be ours, yes? Aye, that's right. Now, both of you, hop over to the tree and... Wait. Scupper our plans now. Huh? Ha. With the strategy I have in mind, there will be no chance of that. None shall come between us and the Tree of Life. What he said. No idea what strategy he's on about, but I think we can fit in a little slicing and dicing before the main event. Oh, you too. I've half a mind to ruffle your hair. Right. Let's teach them a lesson they'll not soon forget. Let's teach them a lesson they won't forget. More of those awful contraptions. How dare they bring them here? Is nothing sacred? And they're pointed straight at the Tree of Life. We need to smash them as well as these monsters. Those little gold bits are to die for. Are they real? Can I have them? To die for is right. Keep staring at that and you'll be dead before you can find out. Its swift, graceful movements and menacing visage certainly lend it air of maximal dangerousness. It does move beautifully, doesn't it? I'd love to know what makes it tick. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be able to take it home and have a good poke around in its insides. This ends right now. Gigaslash! We're not here to study this thing, we're here to smash it. Get so bleeding handy with four arms. I have enough trouble with two. We must attack in unison. Between us, we have more arms than our foe. Huh, <laughs> more sword arms, too. Let's take this guy down. <sighs> this ain't good. All right, let's save you. Goes nothing. Axe is out of evil. Got it. Got it.
was never an option. Then you get me wrong. I'm grateful to you for saving the village. But rules are rules. I'll have to give you the proper punishment for breaking the pain. Now then. Crippling embarrassment or unbearable pain? Which will it be? Wait, hmm. hang on. Is this what you meant when you said we might not get out unscathed? Too. I'm sorry. We shall choose pain over embarrassment. No, 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 wait. What? Unbearable pain sounds, well... Hmm? Thank you, both of you. But I can't let either of you go through with this. Grandmother, as mediators, it falls to us to protect mighty Yggdrasil and to maintain the balance between dark and light. As you know, the World Tree has been tainted by darkness and can no longer function as it should. If something isn't done soon, it will surely shrivel and die. It's my job, as a mediator, to save Yggdrasil. I have to do that, no matter what it takes. No matter how many rules I have to break. Grandmother. No, I mean, Grandmother Mediator. Stand aside, and let these children of light pass. Yggdrasil will die if you don't. Well now, are you just about done there, Hen? You'll never grow tired of trying my patience, will ya? Huh? You'd do well to remember there's a fate worse than death awaits those who will not heed the word of their elders and betters. Good. <laughs> You're a grandchild of mine, and no mistake. Oh, it's just as you say, Hen. There's more important things in this world than rules and regulations. More important by far. You've gone out into the world and made a life for yourself. Need some fine young friends too, by the look of it. <laughs> Dear wee Iowa, I'm so very proud of your lassie. Oh, well now, that's the granny I remember. Thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> no go on and pray, will ye? The tree will surely heed the pleas of one such as yourselves.
<laughs> yes. I. You're right. Thanks. <laughs> right. <sighs> All right. Absolutely. Ah. Excellent. 